This is what student Donnie Miller does on a day-to-day -day basis. Crushes cans and recycles them. And let's face it, aluminum cans are always here on college campuses. I mean, I would, but I live in a house and I don't really know anything about the recycling program here in normal, so I just kind of put it with the garbage like everything else. They don't care enough to put it where it's supposed to be, so they just throw it in the garbage because it's easier. According to collegedrinkingprevention.gov, the average college male consumes five drinks and female three drinks in one night. But let's say there are 10 males and 10 females at a party. That would be 80 cans at just one get-together. So if you're worried about all those cans you accumulate after a long weekend, don't worry, they can magically disappear with the help of the Green Energy Team. We take aluminum cans, don't really discriminate against what cans they are, just as long as they're aluminum. And since we are a non-for-profit organization, we get a little bit better of a return rate than what normal people would do to take it. Although these collectors aren't interested in pocketing that money, they just want to help the community. The ultimate goal is, is after we take the cans to get donated, uh, we use all of that money to donate solar generators to families who are low income and really can't afford heating. So how much does one solar generator cost? Nearly about 700 cans will get us a solar generator. We really want to try to get into the fraternities and sororities as well as get onto some of the main like houses here like on campus. You can give back to the community by signing up your own collection unit or recycling bin at greenenergyteam.org. I think that you'll be able to, I don't know, give back on things that you're not you would really rather just throw away anyways, so if you're just going to throw them out, why not actually have them go towards something like donating heat to families who really can't afford it.